What is going on guys? On New Year's Eve, Intrepid gave us their creative director's letter talking about what's to come down the road in 2020, also giving us our first full look at the Vera map and its starting zones. But before we get into this, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also, if you are interested in Ashes of Creation and have not signed up yet, be sure to sign up using the referral link in the description below. Taking a look at this map, the world of Vera looks absolutely gorgeous and huge, giving us a large variety of landscapes from grasslands and forests to deserts and snowy mountains. But how big is the actual world? Well, Stephen Sharif, the creative director and founder at Intrepid Studios, took to Discord to answer some questions about this. And he told us that the map size is roughly 480 square kilometers. For reference, Classic Azeroth in World of Warcraft is about 321 square kilometers, so Vera is about 160 square kilometers bigger than Azeroth. If you zoomed into the map at all, you may have seen four circles like this one shown here and two diamonds attached to each area. These circles represent the divine gateways for the four great races of Vera, aka the Dwarf, Human, Orc, and Elf, each of which is located in the ruined cities of these races. The diamonds associated with these are the sub-races within each race's starting zone, as each race is made up of two different character types. It doesn't show at all which races go where, so I put my best guess to it. The area right here, I believe, would be the Dunzinkle Dwarf starting area. The dwarves are made up of the Dunir, who are your typical dwarves who like to live in these mountains, and the Nikua, who enjoy a more coastal flatland area as shown in the concept art, and enjoy the hunt. This region makes sense because it is the only one on the map that has one starting area in the mountains and one in more coastal. The area right here I believe to be the Ayla human city and starting areas. The Ayla humans are made up of the Kalar and the Valoon. The Valoon are said to be forged in the heat of the desert and this group is the only one that has a starting area in the desert. The next two areas are a bit more tricky to figure out whom is whom. Not much is known about the orcs or elves, but typically I feel as elves would prefer the forest as they do in most fantasy. So this spot on the map would make the most sense for the elves to settle, which means the remaining spot would be for the orcs. Each starting area is very spread out from each other, so early game you probably won't have much interaction with the other races, but as different nodes develop and the world evolves, it will feel more alive with the four main races mixed together into one. What are your thoughts on our first glimpse at the full world of Vera? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, stay tuned for a lot more news to come.